summer slowly turned to fall in Fargo. Discovery's sixth grader, Brandon Bakke, cranked up the John Deere for yet another mowing job. This summer, he's had a few. He's had to. His choice. I had uh, flyers I put out. Brandon spent the summer mowing lawns for neighbors and strangers, raising money not for himself, but... So I'm going to spend that on the gravestone. For a stranger by the name of Terrence, a man he's never met. Be able to buy him, buy the gravestone for him. At Dakota Monument in South Fargo, Artists and designers have been working with Brandon, coming up with a perfect marker to honor Brandon's wishes. He just asked more and more questions. It turns out that this summer, as Brandon began asking questions about his biological family, he learned his biological father had recently died and was buried without a marker in Chicago. I don't think anybody should go unknown in life, even though the choices that they made or anything. Brandon would mow lawns and have lemonade stands all summer long, raising money to buy his father a monument, a father he never knew. They didn't have the money to put one there. After carefully stenciling, measuring, cutting and blasting, the workers at Dakota Monument slowly began to see the piece of granite come to life. This would be his son's gift to his father even though their meeting would come in the form of this. It makes me feel very proud. As a son? Yes. A chance to know his past, even though there's so much missing. But that's who he is, and so I was proud. And so, after days of planning, plotting, grinding, and polishing, it came down to this. This is your son. I'll hold this, okay? A boy, his heart, and a stone. I love it. Those who helped make this stone stood back and watched this important chapter in this young man's life. It's just really surreal, and I'm really happy for him. Yeah, he, if he could see it, he would be very proud of me. 